You want to find a way to breathe new life into your PSVR 2? Well, Sony just made that easy to do with the launch of the PSVR 2 adapter for PC. Now you can experience PC VR on a headset that's arguably really good for VR. And it comes in at $60. Now it is kind of hard to get right now. Uh, you can get it on PlayStation Direct, uh, obviously other retailers like Best, Best Buy. Buy yeah, I just saw it on Best Buy this morning, so hopefully you know it stays in stock and you can get it. It's in and out though, like on Direct, I think it's still out of stock. GameStop, you yeah. can get it if it's in stock there. There's some apps like I know during the pandemic that we really use when tech was hard to get, like now in stock. You can try stuff like that, so it'll you'll get a notification when it comes back in stock. Not, yeah. Now, what the adapter allows you to do is it allows you to connect your PlayStation VR 2 headset to your PC and you can access Steam VR, which gives you access to a large library of VR games available on Steam. So you're going to be able to get more out of your PlayStation VR 2 and it is really a great VR headset. We actually did a full review, so we'll leave that down in the description down below if you want to check that out. Yeah, now it offers 4K visuals with 2000 by 2040 per eye. It has those gorgeous Sony OLED displays. You're yes. going to get those inky blacks and vibrant colors. It's a 110 degree field of view. You have finger uh, touch detection on the controllers, pass through mode so you can see through to your environment. It's foveated rendering and 3D audio is supported in some games. Now, what you don't get that you would get if you had this connected to the PS5 is you're not going to get HDR, headset feedback, eye tracking, adaptive triggers, haptic feedback, although you do get rumble. But even without all those, it still really is a great headset. And most VR headsets don't even offer some of those features anyways. Inside the box you have a quick start guide, the adapter itself. On the front you have a single USB-C port, which is where you'll connect your PSVR 2. And on the back you have a power port, a display port connection, and a hardwired USB-A 3 cable. Now what you will need that doesn't come inside the box is a Bluetooth adapter. Sony recommends 4.0 or higher. We personally recommend 5.0 or higher just because we've had issues connecting devices with 4.0 due to transmission speeds, range, what have you. There are a number of Bluetooth adapters that have been confirmed to work by Sony. We're personally using the TP-Link USB 500 and we'll link to the others that have been confirmed to work in the description down below. Just make sure as close as possible to your play area and plug directly into a port on your PC and not in a USB hub for the best experience and connection. Yeah, we're using a USB 3.0 extension cable and then on the end of that we have the uh, TP-Link USB 5500 connected to that and it's in our play area so like close to the VR headset and the uh, and the controllers so we recommend doing that as well. Yeah, but still it's a direct directly into a port on the PC, not in a hub. Don't don't want to put it in a USB right. hub. You're going to want to disconnect any built-in Bluetooth and device manager. So if there's one like on your motherboard has Bluetooth, you're going to want to uh, disconnect that. Mm -hmm. Or if you have another USB Bluetooth adapter, you're going to want to remove that. So there's no interference between the two Bluetooth adapters. Don't want none of that. No, you don't. <laughs> and you do want to make sure that you use one of the Bluetooth adapters from the recommended list because people have been having problems uh, getting their controllers to connect to the PC, the PSVR 2 uh, controllers connected. and yeah. stay connected. So use the rec one of the recommended USB um, Bluetooth adapters. Mm -hmm. It would have been nice if Sony had included a Bluetooth solution in this adapter, but they didn't. So, so there we are. We digress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're gonna need a DisplayPort 1.4 cable. Uh, you're gonna obviously need Steam. Within Steam, you're gonna need the Steam VR app, the PlayStation VR 2 app. So you're gonna need all that to get up and going. Now, obviously you're also gonna need a PC and it needs to meet the minimum requirements that Sony lays out. We'll throw them up on the screen, but they're actually not too bad. So you should already have a PC that's capable of running this. You also wanna consider Steam VR titles because some of those have individual system requirements as well. So refer to the game information on Steam. And then obviously you need a PS VR 2 headset or else this isn't happening. <laughs> Now let's get everything set up. Make sure you have all of your software installed, Steam, Steam VR, the PSVR 2 app. Then connect your PSVR 2 to your PC. So connect the hardwired USB-A 3 port to the port on your PC. Plug in your DisplayPort cable into the back of the adapter and the other end into a DisplayPort in the back of your graphics card. Plug in your power and then plug in the PSVR 2 to the USB-C port in the front of the adapter. 
and you want to make sure Bluetooth is enabled on your PC. Also, if this is a new dongle, make sure it's plugged in, set up, and ready to go. Then we want to pair our sense controllers. So to pair the left controller, you simultaneously press and hold the create and PS buttons until the status light starts to blink. And to pair the right controller, you press and hold the option and PS buttons. Okay, once all the hardware is connected, you launch the PSVR2 app from Steam, follow the instructions on screen, and it'll walk you through everything. Now, we ran into a couple issues. During the install, we got stuck on the preparing your devices screen. Uh, the fix for that was to uninstall SteamVR and the PSVR2R app from Steam. Uh, and then we reinstalled the SteamVR app and the PSVR2 app, restarted Steam, and then we relaunched the PSVR2 app, and it finished the setup without issue. And um, we also had the PSVR2 app uh, wasn't launched in Steam VR, and then when you put the headset on, it says take it off. And then the fix for that was just uh, launch in Steam VR manually, and then we put the headset on, grab the controllers, and we're ready to go. And all in all, our experience actually was really good with it. We tried a number of games and everything played really well. We had no tracking issues with the controllers or the connection on those being dropped. The visuals really looked great thanks to those beautiful Sony OLED panels. Yeah, and even without HDR, the games look bright and vibrant with good contrast. You still do get the mirror effect where there's kind of like this grainy overlay. And because of the Fresno lenses, um, there's a struggle to find the sweet spot and you get a little bit of those light rays. Um, so the vision wasn't perfect. Um, but you know, once you find the sweet spot, it's good. But it's still a great headset and it's fairly affordable as well, especially when it goes on sale for like $349. Yeah. At, at like hopefully that sale comes around again, maybe for like Black Friday or something mm -hmm. like that. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Um, let us know in the comments down below if you're gonna pick up a PSVR2, if you already have one, you're gonna get this, uh, you know, PC adapter and you're going to do some PC VR gaming with your uh, PlayStation VR 2 headset. And until the next one, we'll see you. Bye. Bye.